On the inside of the trigger and transmitter are frequency panels with combinations of up to 16 different channels. This allows you to make sure that you are the only one controlling the trigger with your transmitter, which is beneficial in situations such as public events where various people might be using the same type of transmitter. The transmitter and trigger also have cable inputs to further interact with your camera. To use your trigger for flash purposes, you must first make sure that it's set to flash mode. This allows you to use a flash externally as if it was connected directly to your hot shoe and won't demonstrate any delay that can be experienced when using sleigh flashes. So here, we're going to test this out. And as you can see, the transmitter talks to the trigger and when we take a photo, the flash fires. Using the trigger under camera mode, you should first connect it to your camera's hot shoe. Then, with the included cable, plug it into your camera and the side of the trigger. This allows you to use your transmitter as an external remote that will send signals to the trigger and interact with the camera itself. Not only can you take pictures just by pressing the button, but by pressing and holding it, it allows you to autofocus as well. This is useful when any camera shake can ruin a photo, such as in macro, long distance, or portrait photography.